The Aptera is designed and built like a true modern electric vehicle. At its core, it's simple, efficient, and powerful. And yet, it still leaves plenty of room for potential, meaning it will only grow and get better over time. And that's how its companion app should be. Designed in simplicity, working efficiently, and while not designed for luxurious, it still stands with its competition. That is how I have always envisioned an Aptera companion app, and that's what led me to perform this redesign. I hope I met that goal. Welcome to this reintroduction of my concept for an Aptera companion app. Let's get into it. When opening the app, you'll be greeted by this splash screen. It's simple, but it reminds you what you have a vehicle that can take you anywhere, and it's driven by the sun. Let's see it again. All right, are you ready for the real deal? Let's go. The first thing you've probably noticed is the weather. Weather isn't a major interest for most car owners, but since the Aptera can be powered by the sun, it is of concern to an Aptaran. The animations have been created using 3D particles, so, Clouds are actually clouds. Snow is actually snow. Rain is actually rain. And fog is actually fog. And there will be more weather animations coming. As we go through the main menus, take notice of the buttons. The button design had me puzzled for a bit. The old designs were functional, efficient, and acceptable. But I wanted to push it just a little more to give the overall app that extra push. The Aptera may be designed for efficiency, but it's also a very sleek, futuristic looking vehicle. So I wanted the buttons to emulate that. In addition, while the Aptera green is a fantastic color, it can make seeing it difficult for some. So the color scheme has been changed to be better in line with accessibility standards. The status screen is there to give you all the information you need to know at a glance. What's the battery level? Is it charging? How much is it getting from the sun? How much is it getting from the outlet? All of it is right there. And you can toggle the way you view your data. See your energy capacity as percentage or miles. View your input as split between solar and outlet or see it all together. In addition, you'll have access to some common controls. And with a long press in between the buttons, you'll get to customize this toolbar as you like. The control screen is where you'll find the rest of the things you can control on your Aptera. Flash the lights, open and close the trunks, vent the windows, unlock the doors, or honk the vehicle so that you can find it in a very busy parking lot. All of those controls on a single screen settled in the best place for your thumbs. The charging screen is where you can control everything involving your charging. The charging slider was made larger and more easily understandable. And you have the option to stop charging from an outlet or from the sun. Why would you not want that sweet free energy? I don't know, but the option is there. The climate system is there for your comfort. Choose whether you like to be in the hot seat, or if you like things a little more chill. Use the arrows to choose what temperature you want it to be in the vehicle. And for your convenience, the vent windows button is also present. But what if you're all about efficiency? Then choose the auto R mode. Choose your temperature and allow the Aptera to find the most efficient way to achieve that comfort through use of the air system and the seats. But why should you give up all control? Choose the Auto R settings and tell the Aptera what balance you prefer. Comfort through seats, through air, or both. Just because you're driving the most efficient EV on the planet doesn't mean you shouldn't be comfortable. The location screen was chosen by you, the fans and technology enthusiasts. Thank you so much for your input. For other vehicles, Navigation is seldom an option within their own companion apps. After all, it is just as much a worry as it is with a gasoline car, right? 
Well, sure, when you're only getting 200 miles of range. But the Aptera is built to take you the distance. So navigation isn't an obstacle. It's a feature. By default, the screen shows you the first thing you want to know. Where is my Aptera? Finding your way back to it only takes a few taps with buttons in the most comfortable places for your thumbs. Choose between two different quick routes and the app will help you navigate to it yourself. Is it time for a road trip? Tap on the directions icon and the keyboard is automatically sprung for you. Put in your location or tap on the mic to verbally set your course. Now this is where it gets interesting. The navigation screen gives you the typical options of any navigation app, but choosing between those routes doesn't require picking at some small buttons on the map. Those options are right down here, right where your thumbs are. Navigation is normally a two-handed task, but I want it to be more comfortable and, using the microphone, make it a one-handed task finally. Oh, and one more thing. you'll notice a fourth route option in red, the scenic route. This route automatically plans a route that takes you through nice locations, perfect for exploration and time to enjoy the journey. It will look for national forests, major cities, and attractions. The Aptera is the only EV that can claim this feature because it's the only one that can live up to the promise. And how does Aptera know which locations you like? Tell it you'll get to choose which locations you prefer in your personalized account settings. Want to know more about your route? Just tap the route details and get more in-depth information, including the types of places you'll get to see on your scenic routes. The navigation screen was designed especially for the Aptera. I hope you like it. And of course, the voice assistant. Accessible in almost all screens ready to navigate you quickly or perform your tasks with just a few words. No, it's not a know-all like Google or Alexa, but when it comes to all things Aptera, it has everything you'll need. Thank you for watching this reintroduction of my concept for an Aptera companion app. As always, I want your feedback, and so the prototype is already ready for you all. You can access it either via mobile or web by this link or QR code. Remember, since it opens in a web browser, it won't fit your mobile phone perfectly, since the search bar will shove it up a little bit. Also, I'm expecting it to run quicker on a computer than a mobile phone, since there are some heavier things going on, especially with the weather graphics and the navigation menu. Please let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. What would you like to see? I read all of your comments, and I consider everything you all say, so your feedback is invaluable to me. I also want to say that I'll be taking a break from the visual design of this project, so you probably won't be seeing any updates for a while. I have some other projects I want to give attention to, and I want to map out some other screens like the account screen and other secondary menus. And that work starts on a whiteboard rather than a proto prototyping app like this one, but I will still be reading your feedback. Thank you again everyone for your feedback that helped shape this design. I look forward to also sharing some of my other designs here, and if they look interesting, please give me some feedback. Have a great week, fellow Apterans.